Warning, this content may be upsetting or disturbing to some audiences. Men's nipples can be stimulated to produce milk. What is the most disturbing fact? Neurological studies have shown that when a person dies that they may be able to hear what is going on around them for about 6 minutes, the time it takes for the brain to die from lack of oxygen. That's something that worries be about death. Feeling your body shut down, not breathing and sitting there in thought not being able to move forward for minutes that feel like hours. Hamsters will eat their whole litter themselves just so they don't have to be bothered with motherhood. Rodents are brutal. How did that stuff not get sorted out by evolution? That's literally the opposite behavior of what should have evolved. Falcon breeders let birds have sex with their heads. Many bird species acquire their sexuality through sexual imprinting. They are interested in partners who look similar to their parents. If they are raised by a human instead, they will be sexually attracted to humans, but not their own species, so breeders basically have to have sex with the falcons themselves as they won't reproduce otherwise. The breeder first does a dance to turn the falcon on and then it attacks their head and does the thing. They wear special hats for this to catch the semen, so the bird doesn't have sex with the actual head. But yeah, that's how it works I guess. I found out a while ago because my uncle actually started breeding falcons. Robert picked and killed 49 women and fed their bodies to pigs, but whatever the pigs didn't eat was sent to a rendering plant outside Vancouver, where makeup ingredients were made. Considering his last kill was suspected to have happened around the year 2000, if you're living along the west coast there's a non to 0% chance your lipstick had dead woman in it. Pig expert replied, you're always gonna have problems lifting a body in one piece. Apparently the best thing to do is cut up a corpse into six pieces and pile it all together. And when you got your six pieces, you gotta get rid of them, because it's no good leaving it in the deep freeze for your mom to discover, now is it? Then I hear the best thing to do is feed them to pigs. You got to starve the pigs for a few days, then the sight of a chopped up body will look like curry to a, sh, head. You gotta shave the heads of your victims, and pull the teeth out for the sake of the piggy's digestion. You could do this afterwards, of course, but you don't wanna go sieving through pig poop, now do you? They will go through bone like butter. You need at least 16 pigs to finish the job in one sitting, so be wary of any man who keeps a pig farm. They will go through a body that weighs 200 pounds in about 8 minutes. That means that a single pig can consume two pounds of uncooked flesh every minute. Hence the expression, as greedy as a pig. Men dying while masturbating is more common than you think. Usually due to pre-existing heart conditions. Also, orgasm-induced stroke or brain hemorrhage is pretty common. Quite a few men will have sex, finish, and then a very short time later have a stroke or a brain bleed. Had that happened recently? Full-blown unilateral paralysis, dude was buck naked with his missus and fairly obviously had just, you know. It's one of those just by appearances stroke activation. Source, EMT, seen it a few times. Male ducks go on rampages and impregnate dozens of female ducks. Female ducks have evolved an intriguing way to avoid becoming impregnated by undesirable but aggressive males, endowed with large corkscrew shaped penises. Vaginas with clockwise spirals that thwart oppositely spiraled males. New Jersey is the only state where incest and bestiality are legal. Bestiality is also legal in Finland, but it's actually complicated. It's only illegal if you do it in cruel ways and the animal suffers from it. Washington state has bestiality and assisted suicide. So when that horse turns you into a vegetable, your wife can have you medically killed and finally marry Ted from accounting. When a pregnant woman dies, Relaxation of muscles and buildup of gases mean the fetus is sometimes expelled from the body a few days after death. Sometimes at speed. This is called coughing birth. Also known as post-mortem fetal extrusion, is the expulsion of a non-viable fetus through the vaginal opening of the decomposing body of a deceased pregnant woman, as a result of the increasing pressure of intra-abdominal gases. This kind of post-mortem delivery occurs very rarely during the decomposition of a body. The practice of chemical preservation, whereby chemical preservatives and disinfectant solutions are pumped into a body to replace natural body fluids, and the bacteria that reside therein, have made the occurrence of coffin birth so rare that the topic is rarely mentioned in international medical discourse. Some penguins are pedophiles, they steal baby penguins from their mothers and have sex them. And everyone thinks sea otters are cute, but they regularly have assault and torture. Hell. They even hold their penetrate victim's head underwater till they drown. Oh, 
and dolphins and orcas kill for fun too. The location of the serial killer H. H. Holmes' infamous murder castle, located at 63rd and Wallace Street in the Englewood neighborhood of Chicago, is now a U.S. post office. The rooms would fill up with toxic gas, killing the guests. Holmes would then take their skeletons and sell them to medical schools. There was one specific gas chamber, and greased shoots through the hotel leading to quicklime pits in the basement to dissolve bodies. At one point Holmes even coated the floor of the gas chamber with a corrosive acid, so that when one victim attempted to kick the inside of the door to escape, the acid on her feet left a corroded footprint on the door. If you were to be killed by having an arrow shot through your eye, the process of your death would be slow enough for you to register what's happening while it's going down. If there was an afterlife, you'd be able to remember exactly how it felt when the arrow pierced your eyeball. As dead bodies decay, they burp or release gases. For this reason, caskets and mausoleums need to be ventilated so that the gas can escape. The body of Pope Pius XII exploded and visibly decayed while lying in state. The smell was so awful that the guards had to be rotated out every 15 minutes. This was 1958, not the Middle Ages. The chemical that gives Parmesan cheese its smell, butyric acid, is produced by dead bodies. Meaning dead bodies smell like Parmesan or Parmesan smells like dead bodies. I think I prefer the former. There could be 2,000 active serial killers roaming the United States and the FBI doesn't know who they are. Most murders are solved by figuring out who would want this guy dead. They look for good reasons someone would kill this person and find a suspect fitting that motive. If you just drove up to a random person's house and killed them for no reason, then you would have a much higher chance of getting away with it. This is usually why serial killers can get away with it for so long. Around 80% of human pregnancies actually start out as twins, but one twin is usually absorbed by the other twin or starved by its placenta. My wife's obstetrician told her some of this when we first found out we were having twins. He emailed us some links to check out where I learned most of this stuff about twins and pregnancy. There are a lot, and I mean a lot of misconceptions about pregnancy. In Southern Africa, there is a tradition called the hyena man. Parents hire a special man from their village to have sex with their virgin daughters, ages 10 plus, against their will, as a rite of passage and sexual cleansing. There is tradition called Yukathwawa where young girls are kidnapped and forced into marriage. Some are underaged girls, including some as young as 8. In some African tribes they think sex with a virgin cures AIDS and most of the time the only virgins they can find are infants. You can get your lower body chopped off and you'll live long enough to see your legs on the other side of the road. Blood vessels aside, there's nothing that would be instantly fatal if you lost it in the lower body. You'll die of shock or blood loss. Depending on how you cut in half, there might be enough pressure on the blood vessels to keep you from dying immediately. There was this one video floating around recently of a guy who had his lower half cut off from a train. He knew what was going on and you could see he knew he was dead. Men's nipples can be stimulated to produce milk. If a man massages his nipples long enough he will start lactating. It doesn't necessarily have to be stimulated. Years ago, I was put on Risperdal, an antipsychotic, and started lactating and growing hair on my chin. As soon as I stopped taking Risperdal, the lactation stopped though, the chinny chin hair stayed. Rabbits are designed to eat continuously. They need their body volume in dry roughage daily, or their GI system shuts down. If a rabbit doesn't eat for 12 hours, it's an emergency, and they must be force fed. At 24 hours they go into GI stasis, and even with intervention they can die. A serial killer went on a television game show called The Dating Game and actually won. His prize was a date with a bachelorette, however she found him to be extremely creepy within minutes of talking to him and called it off. He has been charged in the deaths of 8 people, however his total victim count may be as high as 100 due to over a thousand Polaroids of women and children discovered to have been taken by him. The police department could only release 120 of them in the hope of identifying them. The rest were too explicit or counted as CP. Some species of anglerfish become sex slaves. The male anglerfish finds a female, who's much much larger, and bites onto her abdomen latching on, he then connects to her blood supply losing his eyes, tongue, stomach, anything not needed for reproduction. Her body supplies him with nutrients and he supplies her with fertilization for her eggs. Basically he becomes the equivalent of testicles, even his brain disappears, and the female anglerfish just uses that to keep producing eggs until she dies, he's basically dead the moment he latches on. 
removing the reproductive organs in males increases life expectancy according to a study. It reduces aggression, men don't biologically have shorter lifespans than women they're just more likely get themselves killed doing something dumb which lowers the overall average. Removing the source of testosterone removes this factor. In order to skin someone alive, first you need to give them a massive sunburn to help separate their skin from their flesh. Then you go at it with a hot knife to cauterize the wound as you cut in order to keep them from bleeding out. If you do everything right, your victim won't die directly from being skinned alive. Rather, they will die of hypothermia, as the skin is critical to maintaining body temperature. In Northern Australia about 20% of the koala population have chlamydia because they pee on each other. Some populations have a 100% infection rate. Aside from that they also have smooth brains and sleep up to 22 hours a day. Most of them starve to death because they grind their teeth down on poisonous, tough eucalyptus leaves. They are really 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 dumb. That smell you get from cutting vegetables or your lawn is a release of the same chemicals plants use to communicate. The scent of a freshly mown lawn is actually the death screams of millions of blades of grass post-genocide. Same goes for that wonderful smelling cucumber you just sliced up for your salad. The tangy sour taste that comes from fresh pineapple is actually a protective enzyme attempting to digest you as you eat it. The color of your anus is the same color of your lips. Human lips are also made from the same material of our anus. One of the stages of decomposition is known as degloving, in which the skin of a corpse completely separates from the muscle and fat under it and kind of slides off. While this is already kind of gross, it's not the fun fact. The fun fact is that, if the corpse arrives at a morgue during or right before this stage and fingerprints need to be collected, the mortician will generally deglove the skin off of the fingers. Slide that skin over their own gloved fingers, and then ink and press the finger skin as if it were their own fingerprint. Dr. Mengele, a messed up German doctor who experimented in Auschwitz on prisoners, escaped from Germany and just lived a happy life. Apparently he even switched people's body parts to see if he could create super people with the strongest parts of different people. One subject lived for 5 hours, that was the longest one. He burned them alive if they seemed too weak for the experiment because he thought keeping them alive was a waste of food and energy. Thanks for agreeing to have your day ruined by watching a Radio TTS video. Hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell for more content. Click the right box for the facts playlist. And share your own disturbing fact in the comments below.